2023 elections, Tunumbu Atiku Obi do not have half the support Kongoso has in northern Nigeria. Bahari's former ally, Daladima, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post hot juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. Galadima boasted that the popularity of the former Kano state governor beats that of any candidate in the north. A chieftain of the new Nigeria's People's Party, NNPP, Buba Galadima, has said no presidential candidate has the kind of support the party candidate, Senator Abiyu Konkosu, has in northern Nigeria. As of today in Nigeria, there is no candidate who has up to half of the support that Senator Rabi Musa Kwankwaso has in the North. Speaking to BBC House on Tuesday, Galadima boasted that the popularity of the former Kano governor beats that of any candidate in the North. Other candidates include the Bola Tunumbu of the ruling All Progressives Congress APC, Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and P2B of the Labour Party. Galadime, a former ally of President Muhammad Buhari, said an ex-governor of Kano, Ibrahim Shikaru, did not disappoint by leaving the new Nigeria's People's Party. Shikaru joined the, P the new Nigeria's People's Party in May and left for the People's Democratic Party, PDP, less than three months later. Shekara, the faction to the People's Democratic Party did not come to him and others as a surprise, Galadima said. Sahar reporters earlier reported that Shikaru on Monday announced his senatorial candidacy on the platform of the new Nigerian People's Party. Following his defection, Shikaru also collapsed his political structure into the People's Democratic Party while pledging to work for the party's victory in 2023. Shikari also said he has abandoned his candidacy and would not seek election into the Senate on the platform of the new Nigeria's People's Party. We saw this coming, Galadima said. He added that many people anticipated that Shikari would leave the new Nigeria's People's Party and he did not disappoint them. When he joins any party, he will say injustice has been done to him, then he will leave. I assure you that by leaving our party, 90% of his loyalists will not join him in the People's Democratic Party. They remain in the new Nigeria's People's Party. Hmm. Well, I feel it is actually too early. You know, they said don't count your eggs before they hatch. Allow the hatching to take place, then you know how many eggs you have left. How many is broken, how many, you know, get spoiled or ring in the process. Now, they never do election. There is no need to come out and start saying, eh, in Canada states, we have like, no. Co necessary. It's not necessary at all. To me, it's not necessary. I think the most important thing here, or the thing, the only thing left to do, aside, you know, the pres I mean, this um, party, political parties coming out to campaign for the various candidates, I think the only thing left to do, and that is the job of we, the electorate, is actually the election. The party, political parties, to me, they have done their job. They have done their convention, they have done their primaries, they have picked their running mates. So at this point in time, these people don't do what they're supposed to do. It remains we, the electorate. Now we left to choose from people who they don't bring us say oh this person is actually better or this person is actually better all right how do you come to that conclusion and by what parameter did you draw your data it's a presidential election not governorship election though their so-called conquest has the same supporters or popularity in the southwest southeast and north central keep deceiving yourself P2B is our next president. Now, I want you to understand that he said in Kano State, I be in not okay. He said in northern Nigeria. Oh, okay. He said that um, they don't have the kind of support Kwankwaso has in northern Nigeria. Mm. And I'm saying, me, I'm still saying what I'm saying. You should uh, kind of step on the brakes. <laughs> Make him no go speed. Congo get an accident. Uh, let him step on the brakes. All this uh, need, needful. How do I put it now? All these comments about Nami Gowin, Nami Gowin is still too early. We have about, this is, uh, what's it called? This is September and uh, what's it called? Um, uh, what's it called? How do I even see what I want to say? We have like about how many months left? I think six months left to the election proper. We should make, or five months left. We should make sure that um, we, 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 those who are involved in, that political parties do their best. 
And believe you me, something can be done with five months. In five months' time, a particular party can come out and tell you that they are no longer in control or they have lost their, what's it called? Should I say percentage of people who is going to be voting for them? So there is, um, there is nothing that is impossible huh, until the election day, or not even until the election day, until after the election day, you are not sure of what is exactly is going to happen. All right, good one. This is exactly what we want from Benalton to retire the APC and PDP. We just need one quarter of the northern vote for B. Crumpasso should hold on to more than half lead in the north. We move. Mm. Okay, which of the north, please? Certainly not north central because we are obedient in north central. Mm. All right. Um. Juan Paso is a master of Northern politics. His respect for education makes him exceptional among other contestants. Be wise and vote Juan Paso for a new and better Nigeria. You see, whenever I hear people come out and talk like this, sometimes I ask myself, is it that this person is living in mass Nigeria or in Pluto, Nigeria, or maybe in Jupiter, Nigeria, because you don't get it. How can we have, first of all, we have a Northern sitting president, not just a Northern, a Northern Muslim president on the seat. And, uh, you know, Somebody who is also a northern Muslim is coming out and he's beating his chest so hard saying, I'm all people go vote for me. I don't see equity, I don't see justice, and I don't see fairness in this. And I've said it in Nigeria this time around, we have to make our decisions based on these three things. Else we are going to be heading towards destruction, to our doom. That's why it be the spirit doom. Anything that will make us to not to vote along the lines of equity, fairness, and justice, rather we'll vote along the lines of ethnicity, tribalism, pluralism, nepotism, I tell you, problem with day. There is nothing you can do about it. Absolutely nothing. We're well, being contesting to be president of all Nigeria. Kwan Kwasum has been contesting to be the president of the North. Who knows? Nigerians will choose their leader. Hmm. All right. Uh, may this election come and go. Make some people retire, go rest. Politics should not be a procession. It's a call to service. Exactly. Serve your term and make way for others. Some people will want to be there forever. Thank you. Do you know that people... <laughs> okay, let me use this scenario that, like I always use. Do you know if, like, let me say Christian community now. In the Christian community, you don't see people hustling for powers. Instead, you might see somebody who is hustling for, for power in the Christian community, but there's that one person who everybody wants him to come and rule. Why? Because his own person is different. That is how it's supposed to be. It's a call to service. They're supposed to be coming to say, eh, let us all see how they make Nigeria better. But they're acting as if it's a do or die affair. Nigerians, so this is our only golden opportunity we have to make Nigerians better. These people will not restructure Nigeria. Neither will they give us a referendum. The only way we can make Nigeria better is to make sure come 2023, we pick the best candidates void of nepotism and all the tisms that have been holding us back as a country. All right, in this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of the day.